can see the skid marks exactly how far he's come. Oi, 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 hold on a second. Is that a demo DJ guy? Oi, mate, it's nuts, bunkers. Yo, I'm letting you know, you lot are sitting there waiting to watch the video. I bet you're fucking bored and I bet you're hungry. Let's go on www.cocandy.co.uk and eat some sweets. Because when you watch this banger, you need to be entertained and fucking stuffed. It's as simple as that. Cold candy, bitches. Yo, so it's a sad day today. It's a sad one. Someone went into the back of the E63S. Whole family was in the car. Mrs. Two little kids. And uh, yeah, everyone's been. I've seen. I see all the comments. I see all the comments. E63 content. E63 content. Where's it at? Where's it at? What not? You know what I'm trying to say? Why has this car got stop starting? Like it. Like it's saving any fuel anyway. But. The reality of the situation is, yeah, someone went into the back of it. It isn't that bad at all. It really isn't that bad. However, I'm not driving no vehicle with any imperfections. <laughs> That's just my thing. But um, yeah, so I thought, you know what? Let me just update you guys what's going on. Um, first things first, all my family are safe. I'm fine. They're fine. Kids are fine. Obviously, there was a bit shook up about the situation. Like, the guy was ploughing it. I don't know what went on. I don't know what was going through his head because he was he was skidding for about 50 metres. He was in an old school uh, Ford Escort. Has no ABS straight away. I heard him screaming for... Scrrr! I was looking around like, what the fuck? 10 seconds later, poof. That's what happened, so... Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, I'm going to put a little clip of uh, the action. Well, it wasn't, there's no action, but the aftermath when he went. So you can see how it happened and whatnot. So I'm going to slot that in right now. You can see the skid marks exactly how far he's come. Running to the back. Yeah, so as you can see what's happened there, basically yeah, he slid into the back of the E63. Um, I'm literally on the way to Pennings in Milton Keynes, where I've been recommended that these guys are really good. Um, they're right next to Deutsche Tech. Uh, ben from Deutsche Tech actually recommended them and he's getting his 8 series done there. And um, yeah, so it's going to get repaired. I know, do you know what the thing is? I've got so much footage for the E63 that needs to come out. We are still going crazy build on it. I've got, I know, and you need to bear with me because I have a lot of vehicles right now and I am filming all of them. So it is really hard for me to actually even remember some of them believe it or not and like film it as well because whilst the processes are happen on most of my vehicles I can't film everything so I'm trying to get as much as I can when I can as well as running the eight businesses that I do so bear with me so I'm gonna I'm gonna record this situation so you guys can see what's happened and um, yeah you know what's going on keeping the loop and then we're going back to the drawing board and we are sending the E to smithereens it's getting all done, it's going to be a savage car. As you know, we've got loads of events for D-Max and this car's going to be represented. So stay tuned when I get to Pennings in Little Keats. I'm going to turn on the camera, you're going to see exactly what's happened. Let's go. Yo, so boom, we are here at Pennings in Little Keats. The car's been recovered to Little Keats, to Pennings, the best freaking accident repair. They're fucking huge, 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 huge. So as you've seen, the old school Ford Escort went into the back of the E63. Mrs. was in the car, two kids was in the car. Literally, we're all safe, we're okay, I'm fine. Mrs. has a bit of a backache. Nothing wrong with me at all, I'll be straight. I'm active, as you know. A little whiplash, but who cares? I'm not even claiming because I don't need to do that. But, um, yeah, so, they've shipped down the car. Obviously, it's not as bad as what we thought it was gonna be. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know, just insurance shit, insurance shit. As you can see, it wasn't my fault, it's gone straight into the back. As I knew straight away, I heard him sliding for about fucking 100 meters. 
he had no ABS in that car, it's a B reg as you've seen, it's some old escort. And um, yeah, so we're gonna hand it over to Penny, we're gonna try and film it. As everyone has been asking, where's the E63 content? This is why the car is here. Clapped out, it's not even clapped out, it's not bad, it's not bad. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get it recovered, bring it back to life again, it's not that deep. And uh, yeah, I was into W's, I've got some, um, parts in the boot as well funny enough that was made ready to go to wrench and get done to boost up the power so we're going to get the car sorted then go back to that again and um yeah just wanted to keep you guys updated because everyone's always asking where's the e 63 where's it yeah so yeah that's what's happened so yeah let's talk more action i don't know where this video is going to go afterwards but yeah stay tuned let's go Car audio security, Kaz, the home of all of the car, the audio and the security and the home and everything special and uh, airlift and rotary form and the list goes on 150 times down. Anyway, we've got the Perth Monte here and I did put up a post the other day saying what do you reckon about airlift? I don't really care what you like. <laughs> Not airlift, Listen, air suspension. It's the right thing to do mate. We have to. I'm telling you it's the right thing to we do. We have to, like, we're yeah. going twin turbo on it, we've got to make sure that <coughs> it's stanced. So when we approach all them big D-Max shows we can just go <laughs> and then when we're down the street we can go <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the two <laughs> We've got the two sounds so there's only one place to go car audio security and we are bro tell me how we're going to make this happen because well it's okay, going to be tricky right so you've got nose lift on it i'm pretty yeah, sure it's going to i'm sure it's going to be straightforward um so we're just going to strip out the lamborghini suspension or audi suspension whatever <laughs> audi um, actually it's audi <laughs> we're going to put a we're going to put a full air lift kit on it with um 3h management so you've got the electronic height sensors okay yeah uh, very important on a, on a high performance car Sick. um that's it really man, we're gonna have, we're gonna get it sitting lower to the ground. So I can literally air out. I wanna be like S30 BMX. Like you. It's you that made me do this. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the plug as well. <laughs> Cause if it wasn't for him, I would not know. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, for real. The real plug's down here. Nice one, Steve. Um yeah, so um Yeah. A lot of people are gonna be asking, oh, what about the ride, this at the other. Airlift and stuff. I mean, look at the R8 over there, please. Look how much bagged items are here. So many bagged vehicles all around, like literally. I'm so, like, I'll, tell, I'll tell you, anytime any of us get a car now, it's, it's, like, it's like when I bought my M3, <laughs> straight in the workshop. That's what I want. Got rid of the um, OEM suspension. I promise you, it's going to drive a lot nicer. It'll drive a lot nicer, and then you're going to have the um, advantage of. Sleeping policeman, you could just raise it up. Um, you can slam it down when you go to a show or something. Um, so it's so custom it's the, set up. It's the best of best of both worlds, man. Okay, so this is the yep. question that everyone was gonna uh, ask. So he's answered it for you. And I personally have got had an airlift, and I know it is sick. It's one of them things that you can't do. You know what? Air suspensions yeah. come such a long way now. The kits are so good. The management, especially the airlift. Yeah, the no, management, the management, especially the Bluetooth so, app and stuff as well. So it reliable, is sick. mate. You, it's sick. Nothing to worry about. And like even like when you start the car up, I know most people like we start the car. Up, it'll ring, up. Yeah, it's got uh, it's got what you call ri uh, rise on start. So as soon as you start so the car, sick. it'll rise itself. To so your convenient because obviously every time you park up, you have to deck the car out, and most people would forget, as including me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you drive off and rip, rip your arches off. Ah, okay, no. So yeah, the the. Uh, um, auto lift will, um, as soon as you start the car, it will uh, raise itself to your drive, uh, desired drive height. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I can't wait. This you. car's gonna look like just an American friggin'. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, you see them on Instagram, those like these sick reels, and you're like, yo, only an American could pull up. But I wanna be American, man. <laughs> well, let's, let, uh, let's bring California home, baby. 100%, 100%. <laughs> so, we are gonna be using airlift, isn't it? Everything. The I'm gonna use full airlift setup on this. Okay, sick. Yeah. This is going to be. Yeah. This is going to be. And we're going to. Do you know what we're going to do? I'm not only going to. I'm only going to film this bit, and then you can watch the rest on their channel. The whole build, everything kind of. I'm not going to film it. I know you guys would like to see it. Go and see it on their channel, and I'm just going to come and reveal it afterwards. So that's how we're going to do it. So go and follow Kaz TV right now. 
quickly come in to right to bottom right here and make sure you go follow Big Palm and follow them on Instagram. Say DM us at Nick. It's simple. As you know, we're always here. Family, family business. <laughs> <laughs> All the vehicles, the quads, the uh, van, the buggies. Oh yeah, the buggies coming here, bro. Are you seen the buggy? Let's talk buggy now. That takes a double in stereo, yeah? Yes. Instantly, I thought the Kenwood that's in my van yes. needs to go inside there as well. And we need the, what do they call it? An aquarium. No, but, but, but the one in your van's a um, few years old, yeah? Yeah. So we fuck that, we'll put a new one on it. Of course. Put the latest one in there. Of course. Yeah, so of you, course. Get wireless, you get wireless CarPlay, Bluetooth DAB. Oh, in the... Um, everything, mate. Sat nav, yeah, Apple CarPlay, wireless Apple CarPlay. Mm. Well, that's the thing. Do you know what I need as well? Need what do you call it? Marines. 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 I can't. I can never remember it. So you know, obviously, the buggy goes in the mud and stuff. So we're gonna come back here. and We're gonna film that. So I need to get the buggy down here, maybe on another hot day. And we're gonna leave you to kick that out as well. That'll be sick. Get the speakers in. I want to be coming down the road. We're we brand new Monday. Coming down. <laughs> I want you to hear me coming from all angles. So yeah, car orders, you know what they're on anyway. I don't, let's talk more action. We're on a DMX, DMX thing, so yeah, stay tuned. Go follow their channel, let's go. Oi, 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 hold on a second. Is that a DMX DJ guy? Oi, mate, it's nuts, it's bonkers.